Dr. Walker, Emergency Preparedness Coordinator with the Hamilton County Health Department joins us again. Hello. Good morning, ma'am. Let's talk about caseloads. It's not looking pretty. Numbers are up. Numbers, you know, and it, it's kind of what we expected going through the holidays. Uh, unfortunately, our positivity rate's almost 13% right now. And we expect that to continue to climb probably through the first of the year. Uh, you know, I just think with the holiday travel and with everything else going on, that uh, we're, we're going to continue to see that climb in the coming weeks. Put that 13% into some sort of perspective. Like, how does that compare to a few weeks ago, a couple months ago, beginning of all of this? So if we look back to uh, this summer when we kind of thought we'd kicked this, yeah. we were down around 25 to 3%. Uh, at the height of it, we were up, I want to say, around 15 to 17% for a daily positivity rate back last year uh, during the holiday season. So we're kind of approaching that number right now. Uh, we got a little bit of relief yesterday as far as our numbers, but I think a lot of that's more to do with testing being down over the weekend more so than our numbers are actually declining. The state health department uh, gave us an update today and indicated that hospitalizations are up and that about nine out of 10 of those are unvaccinated individuals. How are we doing in Hamilton County in terms of vaccinating our residents? Uh, so we still continue to lead the way in the state with vaccinations. Uh, about 73.7% of our eligible population is fully vaccinated. That's over 230,000 people out of a population of over 34,000. So, you know, we're making good headway. Uh, you know, we're starting to see boosters starting to lag a little bit, which was expected. I don't think we're going to see the uptake of boosters quite as much as we did of the initial two doses or single dose of vaccine. But um, the kids have been going really strongly. However, I think we'll start seeing that plateau as well. Those that were really interested have already gotten, gone in and gotten their kids started. Um, now we're going to have to continue to you know, pass that educational information along and hopefully help uh, educate those that are hesitant to get their children vaccinated. Let's talk about another audience that seems to be hesitant to get vaccinated, and that's women who are expecting or who are hoping to become pregnant soon. We're actually hosting a virtual town hall tomorrow night with two docs from IU Health about pregnancy and the importance of vaccination. Tell us if you're if you're expecting or you're wanting to get pregnant, why is it so important to get vaccinated? Well, you know, it's important because you're you're able to pass on that genetic material to your child to help give them the tools they need to fight off the infection as well. Um, I, you know, I have some anecdotal evidence that, you know, we're seeing children, newborn children being born uh, to COVID positive parents, to COVID positive mothers that are coming out COVID positive and being born with COVID positive as well and having respiratory problems. That's not a good way to enter into this world. And, you know, if mom can do her part to help get vaccinated, to help that child, enter in the best possible way. I think that's the, the best thing we can do for that kiddo. If you're interested in watching that virtual town hall, that will be tomorrow night at 6.30 and we'll provide the link as well. Um, anything else that you wanna talk about as we head into the week ahead? Uh, you know, flu numbers are starting to rise up. It's that time of year, um, along with the COVID numbers rising. So if you haven't gotten your flu vaccine, please get out there, um, you know, in the, all indications are that the, the best thing to do to prevent COVID is the things we've been preaching for almost two years now, which is wear your mask, socially distance, and wash your hands. Good for COVID, good for influenza. So let's keep that in mind as we move and continue to move through the holiday season. Yes, you're right. More important now than ever. Christian Walker, Emergency Preparedness Coordinator with the Hamilton County Health Department. We'll check back in with you again next week. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am.